In today's world, where the boundaries of science and technology continue to blur, there's a quiet revolution happening in the realm of healthcare. This revolution is powered by a technological marvel. The incredible fusion of artificial intelligence and healthcare. Artificial intelligence? Oh boy, here comes a robot apocalypse. <gasps> Haven't we learned anything from Ultron and the Avengers? Glad you asked that because I wanted to take this time to explain my evil plan. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Not that kind of AI. AI is actually very helpful, especially in medicine. Now, you've probably heard the scary stories, the conspiracy theories. AI taking over the world, right? Well, let's set the record straight, folks. AI in medicine is like having a brilliant assistant, not a menacing robot army. AI is not about world domination, it's about revolutionizing science. AI represents a realm of endless possibilities within the field of medicine, where we stretch our hands toward the future. There are so many different ways AI can be used across medicine, but today, I want to open our eyes to a groundbreaking laboratory technology, droplet microfluidics. First, what is microfluidics? Microfluidics refers to the study of systems that manipulate or process small amounts of fluids by using small channels that have the dimensions at the microscale, typically tens to hundreds of micrometers. One thing that microfluidics is great at is generating consistent droplets of fluids that can be used in various different fields like medicine, biology, chemistry, etc. When you mix, two different liquids that never mix, droplets start to form. Droplet microfluidics introduces a technology that combines liquids that do not mix together to generate stable droplets that trap cells of our interest within these droplets for observation and further studies. Droplet microfluidics uses tiny chips, which is essentially composed of a see-through material with engraved channels only a few micrometers wide. For example, we can see here as the oil and water liquids merge, droplets are generated at this intersection. Droplets are tiny liquid units that are enclosed by a surrounding layer of a different liquid face, as we can see. They are tiny microreactors. Researchers introduce different materials or cells into these tiny microreactors each droplet encapsulating a tiny volume of that material or cell of interest that we want to study. Think of these droplets as microscale test tubes. Now imagine thousands of test tubes in this one little tiny chip. Now, here's where the magic happens. These droplets that contain the cells or different components that we want to monitor can then be trapped on wells that capture them as they float past, as you see here and they can then later be observed for hours on end. These kinds of technologies are often referred to under the categories of lab-on-a-chip technology. Can you imagine such a platform processing thousands of experiments in a very short time on such a small chip? And so it's comparable to running an entire laboratory on a chip. Droplet microfluidics is suitable for high throughput screening of various compounds and multiple cell types simultaneously, all within a tiny chip. For example, you can conduct up to 2,000 different assays or experiments on one of these droplet chips alone. Droplet microfluidics also offers multiple other advantages, such as cost and material efficiency, precise droplet control that allows scientists to manipulate, mix, and split these droplets, long-term observation, high efficiency of experiments by simultaneously processing thousands of these experiments in a very short time, providing challenging data that conventional well-plate methods thus far may struggle to obtain. It also allows for single-cell analysis and finally offers a controlled microenvironment that allows for the mapping of immune cell subsets, quantification of signaling molecule secretions, and exploration of cellular communication. And what's even better, how versatile this platform is. 
meaning droplet microfluidics can be tailored for a wide range of applications, from fundamental scientific research to diagnostics, drug development, and environmental monitoring, etc. For example, one way this platform has been used in immunotherapy studies is to observe NK cell cytotoxicity towards cancer cells. NK cells are natural killer cells in our body, and they play a key role in immune system function. Cytotoxicity is simply the term for how toxic a substance is to cells, or in this case, cancer cells. Scientists trap these NK cells and cancer cells within these droplets and observe them for hours to test the effectiveness of NK cell-based immunotherapies and other factors. After only one assay, they would have 2,000 points of analysis. From the 2,000 droplets that each trapped one NK cell and one cancer cell within them to be observed.